Okay, so in this video, I'm going to solve these problems here. So we have one half plus one fourth. So since they have different denominators, we're not allowed to add them until we have them um, or make them have a common denominator. So a lot of times it's really simple. You only need to change one fraction to an equivalent fraction um, in order to have a common denominator. So the easy way is I see that there's a four here and a two here. Um, so first, I know that 4 divided by 2 is 2. So all I'm going to do is change 1 half, multiply by 2 over 2, and that's going to get me 2 fourths. And now I can take that and add it to 1 fourth, and I would get 3 fourths. Problem B, I have 2 thirds plus 4 ninths. So I look at 9 and 3, um, and there's a very easy relationship there. I know that 3 times 3 is 9. So I'm just going to change 2 thirds times 3 over 3. And remember, you can multiply any fraction by a um, fraction like 3 over 3 because that equals 1. It doesn't change the value of the fraction. It just finds an equivalent fraction. Um, 2 times 3 would be 6. So that would be 6 over 9. Um, and then I can add that to 4 over 9, which would be 10 over 9. Um, one fifth plus one tenth, one tenth. So I know five and ten, five is half of ten, so I can take one fifth and multiply by two over two, and I would get two over ten, right? One times two is two, five times two is ten. And then I could add that to one tenth, and I would get three over ten. The last one, four and three, they, um, we can either find the least common denominator or multiply them together, four times three, and we'll use twelve. So we take one fourth and we multiply it by three over three. And then we take one third and multiply by four over four. So we'll do one fourth times three over three. That'd be three over 12. And then we're also going to separately do, um, oops, we'll just do it next. That's our first fraction. Now we have to take one third and multiply by four over four. And then that would be four over 12. And now we add, Three twelfths plus four twelfths, and we get seven twelfths. And that is our answer.